Hey friends, so let's get started on step one of our elephant drawing and painting lesson. The first thing that you'll want to do is grab an oil pastel or a crayon of your choice. I would suggest a darker color. That way the line will really show up. I like to use black, but you can use any color that you'd like. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start over here on the left side of our piece of paper. This is where the face of our elephant's going to go. Then we're going to make his body uh, an arch, and then we'll end up over here on the back side of our elephant and his back legs. So let's get started. Watch what I do because I'm going to make this really big arch. I start here, I come over, and then I come down. If you turn this to the side, it might look like a really big letter C. Going back to the front, I make a little W just like this, and this is going to be the trunk of my elephant. Let's bring that up a little, and I almost made it like a little S. So it's an S that's backwards and it's elongated, meaning stretched out. Now I'm going to come down and then I'm going to come over and that's going to be my elephant's mouth. So see what I did? Curve and then curve. And so this looks like a fancy letter L, doesn't it? Now I come down and then I come over. I go up and then I go over. I come down, over and up. These are going to be the two front feet of my elephant. Now, because this is a cartoon elephant, it's not realistic. We can make the feet however we want. Now, in the back, we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to make really boxy feet. So we come over, go up, and instead of making another foot, just like we did here, we're going to close up these two lines with a straight line. And you might be saying, wait a minute, there's only three feet here. You're right. We're going to make another one in the back here. So we just make the letter L and then we close up and then we can see that there's a foot behind there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make some up to side down U's and these are going to be our elephant toes. We're not going to make one on this, the toes on this foot because this foot is behind and the toes are facing the other way. Now let's make a little tail with some curved lines and let's make a big ear with the letter U and let's make an I and then let's make just a few lines here for our elephant's trunk. What a cutie. Now what we're going to do is make our elephant standing on the ground. You can make the ground however you want, but make sure you don't go through the elephant, meaning don't make the line go straight through the elephant. You need to hop over the elephant's feet. And then you can do whatever you'd like. If you want to put some plants down here, if you want to put some clouds in the sky like I like to do, you can go ahead and do that. It's completely up to you. You might even have more space on your paper to put some plants or some mountains in the back. It's completely up to you as to what you'd like to do because this is your artwork. Alrighty friends, so I will be back and in the next lesson we will be painting our elephant. See you then. Alrighty friends, so we are going to be doing step two on this elephant project. And the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to make sure that we wake up our paints. So I'm going to take a little bit of water and I'm just going to put a drop of water in each color of my pan paints and this will dissolve a little bit of the paint and then the paint will wake up and be ready for us to use. I'm not quite sure what colors I'm going to use yet. I'm just going to wake up all of these paints. I know for a fact that I'm going to be using black because I like my elephant not to be black, but I'd like it to be gray. So I'm going to show you how to do that if you want to make a gray elephant as well because a lot of elephants are gray. So my paints are waking up and this side of my palette I'm going to um, use because I'm going to make some gray. And the way that you make gray is you put a little bit of water in one of your palettes, put some water in there, just some plain water, 
and then you get some black paint, just a little bit. You don't want too much because if it's too much, it'll be too dark. And then you mix it up and then that should be a nice gray color. You might want to test it out on uh, an extra piece of paper if, you, if you're not sure that it's the right color, but I'm pretty sure because I've had a lot of experience with painting, I'm pretty sure that that's the right color. So I'm just going to start painting here. Yep, that's the right color. So I'm going to go like this and I'm just going to try to stay inside the lines as much as I can. Sometimes it's okay to go outside of the lines, but for this particular project, I'm going to try to stay inside the lines with my gray paint. And I'm just going to be doing this. I'm not going to be painting my toenails gray. And then I think what I'll do after this is I will paint the grass green. And then I haven't decided on the sky. I might paint it purple or blue, I'm not sure. Sometimes I like to paint the sky different colors. Sometimes I like to paint it orange. Sometimes I like to paint it purple. And most of the time I paint it blue, but sometimes I like to just experiment with different colors. So I'm telling you that because I want you to know that you can do that as well. Just because the sky is normally blue doesn't mean you always have to paint the sky blue. Right, I'm almost finished painting my elephant and I got a little bit blacker than normal right there. So adding a little bit more water, almost done. Move that over just a little bit. Here we go. One more dip. All right, there we go. Okay, so my elephant is finished. Now I'm going to work on my grass and I'm going to work on my sky. So you can keep watching me if you'd like or you can start on your own project. It's up to you. I'm going to speed up this video so I can speed paint. I'll see you back here in a minute. Alrighty friends, I'm back and I really like the way that my elephant turned out. He looks like he's a lot of fun. I wanted to show you a couple of things that I did. I put two different shades of green on the grass because I wanted a little bit of variety on the grass. On the sky, I put some aqua blue and I used some regular um, navy blue and I also used a little bit of purple. And then on his toenails, I use some orange. There's a spot right here. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video, but I bet you can. I'm going to lift a little bit of that paint up with my handy dandy paper towel. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want the colors to be a little bit more even. So I just go like that and then it lifts the color right up. So if you ever have an area on your artwork that you feel like, mm, I'd like that to be a little bit lighter, then you can just use your paper towel, put it over gently and tap it, and then it will pick up a little bit of that paint. All right, so I'm going to let this dry and I hope that you enjoy doing this lesson. I'll see you next time.